<coughs> this was this honeydew, right? Mm. So it's got skin that is like a wire mesh, isn't it? Huh? No, 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 not that one. Huh? Why is it different? That one is rock melon. Rock melon. Is it different? Yeah. How so? It tastes the same, right? Oh, rock melons are smaller, right? Oh. And yeah, so it should net, taste... Netting, like thing, uh. <coughs> this one has a smooth skin. Uh. Yeah. So this, this is... Honeydew. Honeydew. Huge. It's the size of a bowling ball. And it's... I think of all the watermelons in the world, this is the best. Is it? I think so. But the red one, the watermelon, yeah, one is good as a... Also good, but uh, is best as a drink. This one, uh, drink wise, or if they were to put in the blender and and add in sugar, I don't think they need to add in sugar because this is quite sweet. I think <clears throat> this one is more like a fruity, fruity smell to it. You think if you want to know what f fruity means, you just buy this one and smell it. You get the smell of fruitiness. It's not zangy or like like lemon or like orange, it's just fruity. Can't explain it but this is what fruity is to me. It's like maybe bubblegum? Fruity? Who knows? So the how to take out the skin of this smooth uh, honeydew is to just chop it into small little pieces. Uh, like so, like so, like so. Just like carving or shaving ice. Is it enough? <coughs> what do you mean enough? Still green. Still green? That's the fiber, right? So it's good to eat, right? So? Not sweet. Not sweet. So it's good. Is it crunchy? If it's crunchy, then it's okay. You can eat it. Yeah. <clears throat> fiber. It's good. Can be eaten. Uh, yeah. Normally, you all like the inside. So when you chop your your honeydew, make sure the board is clean. Wash it again with the soap, because this uh, chopping board is used to to chop garlic and also onions. If you do not wash it thoroughly with soap and water, the garlic and onion taste would would uh, stick to the to the slices of honeydew. And therefore, you, you will be eating fruits that are infused with garlic or onion. No, it, it, it's really like weird. You're expecting fruits, but you're getting garlic and onion. Not smell, but taste. That's why I was thinking, hey, how for, for quite some time already, I was eating fruits. And how come it has this type of garlic taste? And I think it was my fault because sometimes when I chop garlic or onions, I, didn't, I do not wash it thoroughly. So this is a t tip from the wise. Nah. Or tip from my experience. <clears throat> Green is good. Green is good. Fiber. Nah. Helps you shit. Oh yeah. Otherwise I'm double. We have some problems with the laundry box. Into the yeah, sure, no problem. <coughs> hey. No, steal the whatever. So, the seeds you should be able to grow it, just throw it into the ground. Should I throw it in the secret garden? Okay, it may grow there, but it won't grow here. Why? It, it will grow here, right? Some, some being will eat it up. So, should I just sprinkle it on the ground or on the mound or on the mound, on the mound. in the shaded area you just dig in the mound dig yeah. dig a little bit and cover that's a lot of work otherwise the birds will come and oh okay, okay. <clears throat> now this is how you cut the or slice the honey dew so how much is this yeah. oh. from tesco's seven ringgit and 51 cents what so expensive, ah? Normally it's more expensive, but it's an offer now, like two ninety nine per kilo. Two nine two ninety nine ringgit per kilo. Oh, this is close to two US dollars already. Seven fifty one ringgit for this bowling ball size honeydew. 
Isn't it okay? It's okay. Mm. So, tembikai means melon. Wangi means very Fragrant. fragrant. Together it comes honey dew. It should be called uh, honey, Mal honey in Malay is madu. Madu dew. Ma There's no dew. Umbun. Umbun is dew. Uh, dew is uh, water that forms after uh, night time. After night time because of condensation of the, of the of the moisture at night and it will stick to the leaves and that the leaves that has a has a drop of water that's dew. What they call it honeydew. Honey hmm. It's like honeydew. Not too sweet. Sometimes the honeydew can be very very sweet but this is not the very very sweet type. Maybe you were to leave it uh, longer, will it become sweeter? Mm. It will become soft or soft. Soft and sweeter. Mm. Well then, good mm. job. Just what you don't want. Hey, you, you covered the whole thing with my, with that. How am I going to extract the seeds? Uh, I'll give you the seeds. Okay. Nice, uh. Is it honeydew? With the green thing, right? Okay, yeah. Anything that helps me shit properly is good. Cause last night I've been like, like okay. sparting sulfur. Yeah, it's a bit something. Some I might have eaten something wrong yesterday. Something. Oh, I'm not from here. I it could be from here. I'm always doing it. Yesterday we ate porridge, it's not, right? It's the reaction You feel relief when things go out of your body. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's why you need fiber. No fiber, no shit. So afterwards you make the fried noodles or fried vermicelli, maybe uh, normal style. Like. No need the bells and whistles like chicken or or. Korean noodle. Ah. Oh, just normal bihun now. Nah. Korean noodle is, is like something else already, it's thicker and something else. It won't taste the same. I mean, the There's way. A lot of uh, gravy, the, and you will taste yeah, it's gravy already, but we are eating the noodles, the fried noodles, or bihun, or vermicelli with porridge, rice porridge. Uh, depends on you, uh, you're the cook. Ah, uh, that's the... It really looks like... Looks like the stomach lining of a pig or a... Is it? Or a... What we call cow. It really looks like it. Awful, uh, do you call it? Is it, is no, it called awful? No, no. Something they wrap around awful. the sausages or something like that. Oh. Stomach lining. Maybe. No. Mm -mm. Container. I'll just take that one. Big something. So just dig a small little hole and dump it in, huh? And bring it back. Okay. It's easy for me to scoop with the spade. So you use another container first as your rubbish bin next to your washing basin. No, I say this one is easier for me to scoop. Flame of the forest. Flame of the forest is uh, flaring up. So that's honeydew. And speaking of dew, in Cantonese, without the D, it comes tiu. Tiu means fuck. Ah, uh, you learn something new every day, right? So tiu is fuck. Tiu, 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 tiu. In Mandarin, I think it's called tiao ni or something like that. In Mandarin, uh, tiao ni is the. Uh, is it correct? Uh? Fuck lah. Uh. Fuck, fuck. Mm. Cantonese is called tiu ma. So uh, in Mandarin. Uh, don't put in. You are the crudest of my Okay. Don't be crude. Don't be crude. Can't you see? I love you. You love me. That's the Elvis song. <laughs>